December means 24 drams of whiskey in 24 days. And guess what? It is day 24. We've made it through the whole thing. If you've missed any, there's a link below in the description. But as long as you're here, let me just dig into this box, get the final bottle out of here so I can do this blind tasting with you. The final bottle is out of the box. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. And if you've been around for this whole Advent calendar series, all 24 days, thank you so much. Give yourself a round of applause. That's a remarkable thing. Put up with me for 24 days in a row. And I appreciate each and every one of you. This is the final bottle and the Flavor Whiskeys of the Galaxy box is now empty. All the other bottles are half full still because I'm gonna taste them later. And they're sitting over there on my table. This bottle is for you to look at the front because it has the country of origin for the whiskey. I'm not looking at it because this is a blind tasting and my job here is to make a fool of myself on camera saying the wrong thing. I've actually gotten a few of them right or close to right, so I'm taking this whole whiskey series as a success and hopefully you found it entertaining. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you've enjoyed all 24 days, please give me a like on this video and spread it around YouTube a little bit more so others can enjoy it as well. Once I get done with my tasting and my guessing about which country and which kind of whiskey this is, I'm gonna look it up in the last page of the flavor tasting notes, find out exactly who made this whiskey, what the ABV is on it, what the tasting notes are, and then dig up a little bit more information to put on the screen for you later because that can kind of help you make a decision whether you want to try this whiskey yourself. As I've said before, the nice part about the Flavor box is these are 50 milliliter bottles, which means I get a little bit more whiskey to pour into this glass for the blind tasting and still have plenty left to try again later if I want to figure out if this was a whiskey I liked or not. Starting the last day here, the last time for 2021 that I do a blind tasting and I am ready for it. I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> that first nosing was different than I expected. Ooh, that's not very sweet. And it burned my nose a little bit, so maybe we're up in the uh, little higher ABVs. I wanna play the game of what would Flavor put as the final bottle in this, but that's just gonna confuse me. I need to focus on what I have in front of me. Now normally you can't rely on the color of a whiskey because they add color to it a lot of times. This one though, has very little color to it. And when they have very little color, that means that they probably didn't add color or they didn't add much color to it. And it also means that it's probably not from a warm climate. I am probably not dealing with a bourbon here. If I'm dealing with a rye, it's going to be a colder climate rye. But I just had a rye, so I'm gonna say, you're not doing two ryes at the end, are you, Flavier? No, you wouldn't do that. That wouldn't be very nice. This has some medicinal notes to it. The word astringic comes to mind. I get a little bit of a vinegar note too. And cut grass. And there's a, an herb in there that I can't pick out by name. And it's, it's got a little bit of a heat to it because I'm getting burned in the nose. I'll just sit back a little bit with this one. Definitely a lot of oak spice. It seems malty to me. Tons of wood spice. A little bit of vanilla flavor. Oh, what is that? Oh, I just had a note and it went right by me. The sweetness is berries for me. But there's also something else in there that's, that's hitting me that I can't quite place. Maybe some of that spice is cinnamon. Maybe that's what's affecting the sweetness for me. Oh, and it just got burned again on <laughs> the nostrils. So it's got to be at least 46% ABV, maybe a little bit higher. I almost want to put this in as an island scotch because I'm getting some of those briny notes, but it's not real sweet. So I'm, I'm feeling like it's not a smoky peaty whiskey, but maybe it's got some of the peat adjacent type notes that you tend to get with the island scotches. It'd be nice to end on a scotch. I, I really guess scotch quite a bit in this series and <laughs> have been disappointed that the times I didn't guess scotch they actually were. Kind of reminds me of a Highland Park now. Now that I taste it a few times, maybe one of their little little higher ABV ones 
that has those less sweet notes and more of the, the colder climate, um, harsher notes that you get with uh, a lot of time in oak in a colder climate. So maybe it's got some age to it. Maybe it's not just a young whiskey, but maybe it's in such a cold climate that we're not getting any color off it. So that's my guess. Decent ABV, decent age, and a scotch of some northern variety. How's that? Last day, the nice part about going to day 24 in this flavor tasting notes book is I can't worry about going to the wrong page and peeking ahead. This is the final day and the final page. Let's see how I did. It's blank. No, I pushed the, I turned the wrong page. <laughs> All that build up for nothing. Let's see how I did. Day 24. It's a scotch single malt at 46.8% ABV. I'm feeling good about that. I don't know if I can pronounce the name. Arden Murkan. Arden Murkan. Arden Murkan. You can see it on the screen. Feel free to throw down the actual pronunciation in the comments and correct me. I'm sure I got none of those right. The expression is AD slash 03.21 colon 02. So maybe it's more of a individual series of whiskeys. I'll put some more information up on the screen. Let's dive in and see what the tasting notes here are. Toffee, orange, nutmeg, apple, marmalade. The apple, the peach, the pear, the lighter fruit notes, those make a lot of sense because I wasn't getting a lot of deep fruits. And pepper, sure, yeah, it was pretty spicy. I would say that uh, they're not talking enough about spice on these tasting notes. Or maybe the nutmeg and the pepper together are giving me more of a spice than I would expect to get otherwise. Cardamom. I couldn't figure that out the other day, so my wife pulled out a spice jar that had cardamom in it, and that's where that note was coming from. I could smell it because I just smelled it the other day, but still couldn't bring that out of my brain. There's about four working brain cells up there still, and it's amazing I pull out any information at all through these. This was a great whiskey to end on. I really am thrilled that there's a Scotch single malt to finish off this series because I really wanted more scotch on this series. I'm thrilled that Flavor has added so many whiskeys to this. I, I love the experience and I'm very happy with the journey that I've taken throughout this. And if you're happy with these videos, go ahead and give me a like. I appreciate all the uh, nice comments I've gotten and any comments you want, they don't have to be nice. I appreciate the, the people that have shared this with other people. It really helps out my channel and you're all my favorite people. Thank you so much. And you know, this is the end of the series and it's actually getting near the end of December. So happy holidays. I hope you have the, the best holidays. Hope you're experiencing it with the people that you love. And on that note, take care of yourself. Take care of those around you and cheers. That's so nice. <laughs> Makes me happy. <laughs>